Hello guys, welcome to this video. This one is question number 23 of paper uh, November 2019 one Okay, so I actually missed this question from the main paper. So I will leave this uh, link in the main video as well. So you guys know how to do this question number 23. And thanks to my viewer, Mohamed Ahmad for mentioning this to me and I will do this right away for you guys. Okay, so here we have a graph of X axis and Y and we have point A, B, P and Q given to us. Not given but shown in the diagram okay so now we have the point b given to you by 12 6. so what does this mean it means that the distance this is o this is the horizontal distance it is 12 and the height will be 6. so let's draw this here so we can understand what does it mean okay so 12 means that this is 12 and it's 6. okay now question part one show that the gradient of the OB of the line OB is equal to half. So how do you find gradient? As you guys know, we take the height divided by the base. will be 6 divided by 12, that is 1 over 2. Okay, that is uh, part A. Now for part B, we have AP is parallel to OB and AP equal to this find the value of P. So what does this mean? So AP is parallel to OB. So from this, we have to understand that when a line is parallel to the other line, it means that they have the same gradient. Okay, same M, which is the same gradient. So AP, so basically AP has the same gradient. So let's draw something here so we can understand. So from A, if you go to P, it will be this distance and then this height right so that will give you this slope will be same m which is m equal to this one half right so we have to use this information to find the value of p pretty easy we know that the height is 2 this is 2 and this is p right because ap is p2 so p is your horizontal distance and 2 is your height so how do you find gradient again as we have seen from part 1 gradient is equal to the height of the triangle which is 2 divided by the base P is supposed to give you the gradient which is half now solve to find the value of P you will see that P is equal to 4 that is part 1 now for part 2 write down the value of AP over OB the ratio now let's see what is the ratio of those two. So what did you observe that we can have from those two? If you look at these two, so let's write this down. So from the question part A and B, we have observed that AP is your uh, vector 4, 2, and OB is your vector 12, 6. So now if you want to uh, factorize this, we can try to take 3 out, you will have 4 and 2. So divide, you will have AP on top, which is 4, 2, and OB on the bottom, 3, 4, 2. That will be going away, so your answer is 1 over 3 for your value of this ratio. Now for part C, we have AQ is perpendicular to B to OB write down the gradient of AQ so pretty easy if my gradient of AQ is perpendicular to my gradient of OB there both gradient have to be equal to minus 1 so gradient of AQ is equal to minus 1 so what is M um, so M of OB which is a gradient of OB has been found to be half that will be equal to times 2 that should be minus 2 okay so just to just to write this properly again so we have MQ we don't know right MAQ times MOB is half is supposed to give you minus 1 if it is perpendicular now we solve MAQ is equal to minus 2 that's why now moving on to part uh, 2 Given that AQ equal to this, find the value of Q. Again, 
if you know if you go back to your graph aq is this one so if you want to join those two we can do that so we always have to form a right angle triangle to be able to find the gradient okay so aq so aq is given to you by 3 q now 3 is your horizontal distance that you move which is this one 3 and q will be this height now as you have seen here the gradient of of this one is given by by minus 2 of aq is minus 2 so how do you find gradient as i've explained it is height divided by base so q divided by 3 is supposed to give you your gradient which is minus 2 so q has to be minus 6 and that is your answer for part 2 okay so that was the question number 23 and I will leave a note in this uh, I will leave a link in the main video so you guys don't miss out on this question but I hope that was quite useful and thank you for watching I will see you soon